iOS 26 is finally here. And while Apple added a ton of great features, there are only a few that really deserve your attention on the first day. First, give your iPhone a brand new front door with the redesigned lock and home screen. This is where you'll notice iOS 26 every single day because you pick up your iPhone 40, 50 times a day easily. Apple redesigned it so it's not just prettier, it is more personal and it's more useful. Now here's how you can try it. To edit your lock screen first, press and hold on the lock screen for a few seconds and then tap customize. Now you'll see these rectangles or these bounding boxes around the areas that you can actually edit. There's one around the time, there's one on the widgets and there's one for the wallpaper. You can tap the time box to change the font and style including this ultra cool translucent clock which can auto adjust depending on the wallpaper that you have. You can tap on the widget box and the widget box can actually be lower towards on the bottom of the phone itself or it can be up or near the clock uh, and add or swap in new dynamic widgets or even change the lock screen controls in the bottom left and the bottom right hand side of your lock screen. And there's a wallpaper toggle where you can choose to add a spatial 3D wallpaper that shifts and moves around as your phone changes orientation in your hand. It's actually very cool. Depending on what your wallpaper is, it works with people, it works with pets, it works with cities, and it does add a nice 3D effect that I think that you'll enjoy. Now, if you wanna steal my exact setup, I made a free iOS 26 quick start guide. It'll save you time and frustration getting everything dialed in just the way that it needs to be. Link below in the video description. Then you can update your widgets. You can tap in the widget area, swap in the new dynamic widgets. So you can see things like live weather, calendar, or even your, say your move rings without necessarily uh, opening your phone up. And here's how you can push that design onto your home screen. First, tap and hold on the home screen. Then click edit. Under your customization, you're gonna see some icon styles, including two new styles. You have default, you have dark, you have clear light, clear dark, and there's a brand new tinted option that's been updated. If you tap clear, your icons instantly get a glossy transparent look, which I personally think is super clean. Now, if you are using a photo wallpaper or a photo widget, you can tap on the widget and set the widget itself to go ahead and choose your photos or display your photos in color instead of the clear effect. Make your photos still pop against the glass icons, which I still love. Now, going back to the customization, there's a tinted option, which is really fun. And you can use the color picker here to sample any color from your wallpaper. You can adjust the transparency just like you would on the lock screen or use the slider to pick any different color that you'd like to. So overall, you've got four main styles. You have default, you have dark, you have clear and tinted, which are all built around Apple's new glass design language. Now here, spending two minutes will make your iPhone already feel completely refreshed, unlike any other iPhone before it. 